Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. In here, in here. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to a new video. This week we're doing something a little different. I wanted to start a new series, so I'm gonna do monthly favorites. And of course, we're starting with March. So come along with me. Make sure to grab your drinks of choice. I have to drive later on, so I'm just gonna stick with this, but you do you, boo. We're gonna have some fun, chat a little bit, and let's just get right into it. Okay, so since this is a monthly favorites, I have a list of things that I wanna show you guys that I wanna talk about that I have purchased this month and I am obsessed with. I absolutely love them. And some of these I have already repurchased because I just use it so fast. So I think I'm gonna start off with clothes and then we're gonna rotate into like food and beauty products and everything else. So just last week I went to the store and I found the cutest sandals. As you guys know, I'm staying with my sister in Texas for a little bit. So all I really have is sneakers because it was winter time and it's cold out. I don't really have anything for the hot weather. So I need to pick up some sandals for me or some flip flops, just something to have my feet out. And I came across these babies. Look at these sandals right here. They have like little pearls on them and it's kind of like a beige color. So it's like nude. And I just think they are so cute. They're going to go with everything, just match all of my outfits. And I cannot wait to start wearing these. They're just so adorable. I'm just gonna put a close up on the screen because if you can see this bling right here, girl. It's currently raining right now. I guess there was a tornado a few days ago here in Texas and now it's like thunderstorming. I don't know when it's gonna stop, but hopefully in a few days I can start wearing these babies. Okay, next up is this phone case that I bought. I bought it at Goodwill for like $1.50 and I was so excited. It's supposed to be like Louis Vuitton inspired, but obviously this one's a fake. But I don't even care because I have been wanting to try square phone cases for the longest time and I finally found this one. I just wanted to test it out and I think I actually really like it. Like this grip is perfect for me. I wish this little key part came down, but it's okay. It's still just really cute. It's gold. It's brown. It's just perfect for like a neutral phone case and it's got a little bling to it. And you know, I love me some bling every now and then. Speaking of Goodwill, I found something that I have been searching for for months. I wanted a Dooney and Burke bag for so long and I finally found one at Goodwill. Again, this one was like $2.50 or $3, something like that. I shop at the Goodwill outlet sometimes and I just, I'm obsessed with their stuff. You kind of have to dig to find all of the little gems, but when I found this, I snatched it up so fast. This is authentic, it is real, and it's just like vintage. It doesn't have any really marks on it at all. It's just like, I love it. I cannot wait to start wearing it. Just like, look how clean it is. It's a little shoulder bag to wear while I'm out, you know, shopping, walking around. When I get back to LA. This one I also got like a week ago and I haven't used it yet because I gotta figure out how do I clean? If it's a cloth purse, can you wash it or should I steam it? What do I do to just desanitize everything and get all of like the little dirt and scuffs off? If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments because I cannot wait to start wearing them. Speaking of vintage, I just found these new jeans at Marshalls and how cute are these? Like you can't tell me you don't love these jeans. Look, they have like a little stripe down the middle, right? And it's flare jeans, so it goes out really wide, high-waisted. I'm going to try these on right now, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on, because these just fit like a glove. It's like it cinches in my waist because it's high-waisted, and it just looks so cute. Reminds me of the 90s, like I just want to put on a little bandana and a, like a white t-shirt and just rock this all day long. The Savannah high-rise flare jeans. We have been in the 90s era for a few years now and I really just want to test that out, see what outfits I can come up with. Maybe I should do like an outfits haul. I think it's about time I hop on that train and get back to the 90s wear. Looking all cute with my purse and stuff. How do you open it? How do you open it? Cheers. So if you watched my last vlog, then you know that when I moved here to Texas, I didn't really come with much. I came with like a suitcase, a couple bins of clothes, my makeup, and like that was it. I only packed what could fit in my car and it was not much. So I've been doing like a little bit of shopping lately, as you can see, and I also found this little Nine West purse. This is another shoulder bag that looks like this, but this one is black, it is shiny, cute little square bag, and I love wearing this. I wear this a lot, actually. I used to wear it to work, and again, it goes with everything, so 
If you guys want to check out any of these, I'm going to leave the links down below so that you can click on it and purchase on your own so we can be matching. Last item for clothes is these sweatpants right here. If you could jump through the screen and feel how soft these are, oh my gosh. I've been talking about wanting to have a me day and make some s'mores and just lay down, watch movies all day, relax, chill. And I think these are the perfect pants to do that. They have a little drawstring, floral. I think everyone needs a staple pair of sweatpants to just chill and walk around the house with and do nothing. <gasps> do we have a guest appearance? If you haven't already, meet my baby prince. This is my cat. He was just trying to call up on me. Say hi to our friends, Prince. Hello, hello. And I just love him so much. So I have a surprise for you guys. There is a new chapter in my life and recently I have just begun a weight loss journey. I've only started about like a week and a half ago and I'm already down almost four pounds. I'm about to do a weigh-in tomorrow, so I'm gonna see where I'm at. But I was thinking I might as well start another channel just to show my daily vlogs, how I'm feeling every day, what I'm doing to lose the weight, how I motivate myself, how I can motivate you all. Maybe it can be like a whole community if anyone watching this needs to lose weight, we can all do it together. Make it a group thing almost. I wanna have this channel be inspiring to people. So a couple things that I've been using since then is is these post workout gummies and this water bottle. These two go hand in hand. I love this water bottle guys because it shows the ounces on it. You know those water bottles that tell you the times and they're like drink this much in two hours or drink half a gallon in six hours, that type of stuff. I love this one, it's much more simplified. It just tells me it's 32 ounces at the top. So if I drink four of these a day, then that is a gallon and I'm pretty good with doing that. Usually I drink about three just automatically, so I kind of have to push myself if I want to drink the fourth one because water is important to help lose weight. And then these gummies that I bought, you're supposed to use these one after a workout. It tastes just like pineapples, so I kind of get through it. I just eat one right after workout and this is going to give me my electrolytes. This has vitamin D in it, turmeric, so it's just kind of like an all around good thing to use after workout, make sure my muscles are taken care of water bottle and electrolytes are what's going to keep me energized and keep me going and that way i don't feel so drained after a workout because the ones that i've been doing with nike are killing me and if you want to know more i'm going to post that on my second channel so that should be up in just like a week or two let's talk smells now i'm not one to have all the high-end things i definitely am more of like a drugstore person i'm definitely more of a drugstore person person <laughs> I'm definitely more of a drugstore person. I like to find little deals and ways around getting those high-end products, but this one I will not sleep on. It's the Tory Burch perfume. It's a roll-up and it's called Love Relentlessly. I got this one from my sister. She gave it to me recently and it just smells so good. It's kind of like a sweet floral smell. The packaging is just really pretty. It's gold. I love me some gold embellishments, just gold everything, gold earrings. I have that gold phone case, like I just love me gold. So I can just put this on my wrist, put it on my neck. And I just smell so sweet, so good. Throw this in my purse and I'm good to go. I just have a few more items to talk about with you guys. And to go with the workout theme, I have two more to discuss. Headphones. I know everyone's wearing those big bulky headphones that just wrap around your head. It's kind of like the 90s look. Everyone's going back. No one really wears the wireless headphones these days. At least like the younger kids don't. So I went and bought myself a new pair of headphones off Amazon. And these are just so cute. It's like a little egg. Like look at it. It's so compact literally fits in my hand you can put it in your pocket and it just stays there it's not one of those cases that are all square and bulky and have like sharp parts to it this one's just really smooth it's literally like an egg i take this everywhere with me it has three sound systems like dj mode game mode so if you want more bass or if you want it to be more quiet more sensual if you want it to be like really loud and bumping then i just change it based on my mood and i'm good to go yes USB-C charger and this literally lasts me like two three days before I have to recharge again. I am obsessed with this Snack break snack break mm -mm -mm -mm. So I haven't really been posting as much as I wanted to because I've been staying with my sister for like the past five months ever since November I want to say like end of November I've been here in Texas and it's just hard to film for me because I 
I just feel awkward about filming in another person's space. Like I have to move things around. I have to have it quiet so that there's no background noise. And it's like, this isn't my home. There's also a baby living here. Like I can't always have it be perfect. So that's why I haven't really posted as much as I wanted to. But I promise you guys, I have so many ideas and so many things that I just want to film and knock out for you. Start posting once, twice a week. So bear with me i'm about to be home back in la in like a month and a half that is when it's really gonna pop off and then i have this other youtube channel starting soon so we have a lot of fun things coming up stay with me i just hit a thousand subscribers like just a few weeks ago so thank you to everyone who subscribed i love you all thanks for subscribing to my channel we are building a little community over here and all of your sweet comments about me motivating you guys it just touched my heart so much I want to keep doing that, keep inspiring everyone. You guys inspire me just as much as I inspire you. So this is a group effort right here. We are all becoming friends. And you know, you can always DM me on Instagram. We can talk about anything. I love when you guys hit me up. So this one is a little extraordinary, but because I am staying in Texas and because I'm like, this isn't my home, I'm basically traveling here. I have a pillowcase that I just bought off of Amazon. And I love it. My favorite color is green. So this little lime green, foam green color is just gorgeous to me. It's so pretty. It's satin. It fits my clean pillowcase. And this is going to be something that I take everywhere with me whenever I'm traveling or going on a plane. I'm going to always just pack this in my suitcase and take it with me. So random, I know, but I just had to mention to it because you guys are sleeping on Amazon. There are so many things that you can buy on there. Don't be afraid to purchase online. Even things just like a pillowcase or a piece of headphones, or some food, or some candy, some gummies. I have purchased it all off Amazon, so don't sleep on them. Last thing is this blue thing right here. This is my neck massager, and I love this. I try to stretch almost every night, do like a little bit of yoga before bed, just because it helps me sleep for some reason. It really just helps me relax and like calm down. It's something that I've just incorporated into my routine. It has these little nodules right here. They're kind of like metallic. I don't know what type of metal it is, but they are cold to the touch. And it has this curved edge. Your neck just goes here and you're just laying on here for like 5-10 minutes. And it really stretches out your neck. It had to be like 6-7 years ago when I was at my mom's house. And she told me about this commercial that she saw where everyone's getting these hump necks. Because all of the teenagers and like... The millennials are on their phones constantly texting looking down and they're just building that hump neck in their back and she freaked me out i have been scarred ever since so investing in something like this was something that i had to do immediately when i saw it on instagram i didn't even know that this was possible but when i saw it on instagram i immediately went on amazon and purchased the same exact thing for the last few years i've just been like stretching and doing different arm exercises to kind of just like get my neck back to where it needs to be and i'm always nervous that i have a little hump going on right here but this i feel like this just saves me this gives me assurance to know that i'm on the right track and that i'm never gonna get that because that humpback thing that humpback video was so scary and i was literally scarred last thing is this light right here it's a little selfie light i got this off of amazon as always <laughs> so it's like warm cool and mixed tones and you just of course, you've seen these all over TikTok. I already know, like the Alex Earl light. I don't even know who Alex Earl is, but I got this light. I've wanted one for years. I used to have, I've actually had so many of these lights, but all of them ended up breaking or ended up like not lasting. The battery life was terrible. And this is the first one that I found that actually works when I'm vlogging inside of the car. So I think it's just perfect. This is a staple. If you don't have this already, even if you're not a content creator, you need to get one of these. If you're going out to like birthday events, if you are going out to a party or whatever, bring this, just throw it in your purse and it is going to carry you. If you love taking pictures, if you think you're not photogenic, definitely get one of these because it's going to save you. It's going to get that natural light going when you don't normally have it in a house. I've been vlogging with this all the time lately and I just love it so much. This is the only one I found that actually works. It's called the Newer and it's just a selfie light that lasts for days. Check it out. Trust me. Thank me later. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you already have or something that you want to try. I will give you my best recommendations. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe down below for more videos. As I said, I have a lot more on the way coming and I cannot wait to connect with all of you. And until then, I will see you in April with another monthly favorites video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Bad boy. Rob Bush. Bad boy. July 8th, 2024. Here we go.
tastes so good. Mm. Tastes kind of stale though, but. Mm.